Kobeck is the story of a unique and successful educational partnership between the nation of Belize and institutions of higher education in the United States. Belize is a close neighbor of the United States, located just below Mexico and bordered on the east by the Caribbean Sea. It became an independent nation in 1981. Following Belize's independence, many countries throughout the world wish to become affiliated with this new nation of diverse cultures and tropical beauty. Its close proximity to the United States made it possible for institutions of higher education in the U.S. to be the first groups to begin educational exchanges with Belize. As the number of U.S. universities working in Belize increased, it became apparent to Belizean leaders that some form of collaborative entity or association needed to be formed to manage and capitalize on this new era in Belize. As a result of this need, Belize educational leaders met with representatives of the U.S. universities who were affiliated with Belize and suggested a binational consortium. Well, we were a fledgling university and we thought we needed um, a more experienced partner to guide us along the way, Tracy Harrington, and Dr. Betty Flincham, who were both internationally minded. Mm -hmm. And they thought it would be good not only for the institutions that they partnered with, but for the United States itself to meet other cultures, other people, other ways of looking at things. I consulted with Mr. Ernest Raymond, who was the chief education officer at the time, and asked him what he thought of the idea of partnering with American institutions and he was very enthusiastic about it. I think COVID started as a result of trying to expand access to tertiary education. Uh, I was told about this agreement or program with some foreign universities and Belize. And as such, then Calvin Young and I were invited to visit a number of tertiary institutions in the U.S. And um, there it took off and I never dreamt in my wildest dreams that it would reach the level it has reached now. And this was where I met Bridget Smith. Well, uh, my involvement with Kobeck uh, began as one of the uh, founding uh, members of, who attended the uh, very first meeting to explore uh, establishing a consortium of educational institutions from the United States and from Belize. When the organization uh, first started up, I became the, the first secretary of COBEC, um, and in, the, in some years later to that, I became the co-chair, the Belize co-chair of COBEC. Uh, Belize did not have uh, any graduate education, and so uh, we, uh, we were able to put together an affordable program uh, by uh, using the LAC scholarship, which enabled the students to never have to pay more than uh, in-state tuition. Um, we have had the opportunity not only for the students to go abroad and studies, but we have had opportunities for faculty members here to get opportunity to liaise with um, different faculty members at the member institutions of COBEC. We have had student exchanges, we have had faculty exchanges, we have had collaborations where 
Um, some of the students from the U.S. universities will come down to Belize and will do internships under the supervision of our Belizean um, faculty members. COVID has um, impacted the lives, I think, of hundreds of Belizean students. The most important project that grew out of uh, COVID uh, was the uh, University of North Florida master's degree program in educational leadership and uh, some other areas uh, that we offered down here for about 10 years. I was director of that program. That was very thrilling. We were uh, excited and uh, very hopeful at the time because uh, at the time I thought that some wonderful benefits might come from what would later become COVID. But I had no idea that the organization would, would uh, last some 40 years. And it really turned out to be much more than I had envisioned that very first day when we met. This led to formative meetings being held in the U.S. and Belize. As an outcome of these meetings, the Consortium for Belize Educational Cooperation, COBEC, was officially inaugurated in 1989. A memorandum of agreement with constitution and bylaws was adopted and projects were initiated that year. COBEC bylaws established that the binational conferences will be held in the first week in February in Belize and the third week in July in the United States. Conferences were to be hosted by a different member institution each year. As a founding member of COBEC, I am very pleased to be able to share my thoughts about the organization. As you know, it began over 30 years ago and it has provided both the U.S. and Belize with wonderful interactions and goals and accomplishments, a network and wonderful collegiality. And we're very, very pleased about the whole consortium and what it's meant to the U.S. and to Belize over the years. For over 30 years now, COBEC has conducted collaborative programs and educational activities between the U.S. and Belize. As a direct result of this partnership, substantive accomplishments have been achieved. A recent impact study has proven the significance of its programs and activities. For example, findings of the impact study showed that a large number of Belizeans have received degrees from U.S. institutions, most with in-state tuition opportunities or full scholarships. In addition, all received work-study assistance from COBEC member institutions. Significantly, COBEC designed articulation agreements with U.S. universities, made it possible for the years of tertiary educational training in Belize to be accepted and courses transferred. This allowed most students to obtain their degrees in approximately two years. Alternatively, U.S. students received the opportunity for degree-related study abroad experiences in Belize. Many U.S. students had the opportunity to do their practice teaching in Belizean schools. Early COBEC projects assisted with the development of newly established tertiary level institutions in Belize. Personally, COBEC has impacted my life in a way that can forever be remembered. The partnership with the University of Belize and uh, the University of North Florida brought about more than three cohorts to Belize and many of us were able to be part of that cohort. It has had a tremendous effect on my life uh, personally. 
uh, all the learning institutions that I have attended and have helped in my formation uh, basically are Kobik institutions, starting with uh, St. John's Junior College where uh, I majored in history and um, history and economics. And then I moved on to Valdosta State University. And interestingly, I, I was encouraged to go to Valdosta State University by one of the founding members of COBEC, Dr. C. Tracy Harrington. And uh, while I was there, Tracy Harrington really looked out for me and made sure that, as he did with all Belizeans, that we were comfortable. COBEC has benefited me personally as I was in one of the first Belizean cohort to attend the University of North Florida. I completed my master's degree in curriculum instruction and design from that university. I have also um, been able to participate in collaborative efforts between both Sacred Heart Junior College and the University of North Georgia. COBEC has definitely uh, impacted because without that in-state tuition, mm -hmm. you know, if I would have had to come here and pay the out-of-state, uh, I think it would, that might have been a setback for me. And two, I think COBEC has assisted me personally in the development a foundation in terms of being able to get that first degree. I think coming into the police department with that degree assisted not only myself but assisted the police department because throughout my career I have been able to formulate a lot of the policies that today govern the police department. And I do think that um, COBEC has given us the opportunities to be able to further our education. I attended the um, Valdosta State University over the years, 1993, 1994, and uh, at that time I got uh, an out-of-state waiver under the COBEC um, arrangement, and uh, that out-of-state waiver made my um, education at Valosa State University at the master's level that I was pursuing at that time extremely reasonable um, so that I could have afforded to completed my master's degree within a one-year period and returned back to Belize. The COBEC arrangement has not only benefited persons like myself, but it has also um, benefited a number of Belizeans who could not have afforded to pursue education um, abroad and uh, come home back to make a difference and to contribute to national development of, um, of Belize. So from that standpoint, I can tell you that COBEC has really impacted um, Belize um, in terms of facilitating education for our people. Being a part of COBEC is a way for self-development because you get be exposed to several things that being at home, being in your own little library, your own niche, you won't be able to. Um, also, we have had the benefit of visiting Bainbridge, um, Georgia, also at Valdosta, through COVID. So that was an experience for us as well. And I have to say, my experience coming here, um, I don't think is like other uh, international students. You know, I, I don't think any other Belizean student going to a non copic institution would have had this experience so you know they gave added experiences mm -hmm. um i met some great friends here uh, and i think i did some really good courses here as well i i remember you know we did the public speaking class which i've taken with me throughout my whole life um and it, those, that kind of exposure i don't think i would have been able to have gotten in belize um, and so I think the biggest thing for me is not only the book education, but also the exposure that you get to a new culture, right. to a new way of doing things. Um, it gives you a bigger, a better understanding, a better appreciation for, for home as well, um, but also gives you ideas on how you can improve things. But everything I attribute to Kobeck, I think that without this experience, without Kobeck, so many of us would have never had the opportunity that we've had. I, uh, my life has been so different. I have learned so much. And, um, and I feel I've always felt and known that it's important to give back. I see that so much with Quebec um, as a student in two different programs here at the University of North Florida. And now as a professional, 
as an educator, definitely. And we need that. That's what education is all about. So it's kind of continuing now. And, and, and here I am thinking, well, how can I take this to that next level? How can I um, bring the best experiences and bring our students on board, faculty, staff, students from Edward Waters College to get some of this rich experience? And, um, and, I, and I'm hoping to be able to do that. I started Quebec back in 2009 um, while attending a, I became aware of the consortium while attending a, an Atlib meeting. Um, Dr. Evier reached out to me and said, I think that your institution should be uh, a member of COBEC. And I started to, to ask her some questions and she um, um, deliberated on what was the, the focus of COBEC and I attended my first conference. Immediately it created an impact. Immediately people started to reach out and wanted to form partnerships and also wanted to know about my institution. They wanted to know about the type of education that we're offering. And over the years, it has extended to us hosting students for internships. Um, we have also signed memorandum of understanding. And two, two years ago, for the first time, three of our students came to the U.S. and joined Quebec schools, which for us, that was a very important milestone because it shows that the work that we're doing at these conferences, they, they are paying their dividends. It has changed from simply being a one-way street to now having that reciprocity between uh, Belizean and the U.S. and Quebec partners. And, and also uh, a part of the of the whole Quebec idea or goal, uh, um, as it has developed in these years, is to get um, or, or to open avenues, to open uh, avenues and opportunities for Belizeans to be able to come to to U.S. institutions and earn higher degrees. Um, and I must say that that I am a true representation of that whole idea because true Quebec and the connections that the people before me have done and the, the current members are doing. Um, and of course, uh, the future should continue to, to embrace these, 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 these um, relationships and build on them. The relationship that UNG has had with COBEC over the last 12 years has been tremendously rewarding. Sacred Heart students, University of Belize students, Galen students, as they have collaborated and partnered and worked together in projects over that time period is beyond anything that I can truly express. Uh, overall, uh, I've had uh, 137 students from the University of North Florida have come to Belize. Many of these students, uh, this was their first international experience. They really learned a lot, it impacted how they viewed the world. And there was one student in particular that uh, I remember who was very sheltered. Her involvement at the school and seeing the feedback that she got both from the teachers at the school and the students she taught uh, convinced her that uh, she really wanted to continue working in the international arena. Upon her return, uh, she applied for the Peace Corps. She says if it wouldn't have been her for experience for the study abroad and, abroad and being able to come participate in the COVID program that UNF had, she probably would have never even dreamed of joining the Peace Corps. Well, having uh, visited with some of the people who are members of COBEC, and we got to attend a conference uh, in February for the first time, we find incredible relationship building, networking, the caring, as someone said earlier, it's like family. And you can see that. And each time you know, we meet with people, we learn more that we can then take back to our students, whether they're our students in Belize or whether they're our students at Campbellsville University. Actually reached out to Dr. Hunley because I wanted to um, step outside of my comfort zone. So I wanted to see the education experience somewhere other than the United States. I was a student mm -hmm. for Campbellsville University, but I was also a preschool teacher. I was a preschool teacher for 11 years, and when I came back from Belize, I shared that with my preschool students. Most of these children may not even travel outside of their town. 
but I was able to share with them my love of Belize. And uh, I actually got to know one of the teachers here, uh, or in Belize, and um, she said, I would just like to have some crayons that aren't broken. It's a very humbling experience. And I went back to my classroom and I looked at it in a different way. Mm -hmm. That maybe what I had was too much. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, children can actually use a lot less things mm -hmm. and their imagination more. Mm -hmm. So it really, it really changed mm -hmm. the way that I even set up my classroom. So again, we kept bringing students back every year, and I guess we had been bringing them back three or four years when uh, we had made relationships with uh, the University of Belize and Stan Creek Ecumenical Junior College and Sacred Heart. And along the way, at the same time, the Ministry of Education recognized that many of the teachers in Belize, while they were prepared as teachers, they didn't have an early childhood certification. Mm -hmm. So they wrote a grant and they actually got a UNESCO grant to begin developing an associate degree program with teacher certification. So Belizeans, early childhood in Belize, they developed this program because we were going down there every year. They asked us to read the program and review it. And you know, so we got to see the new national curriculum as it was being developed. Then when it was finalized, they invited Campbellsville University to be a part of the teaching of this very first oh, wow. associate degree program. And, and that's sort of how we became involved with COBEC, or at least became aware of COBEC. Belize offers a lot to this program. The U.S. offers the teachers, but there's always someone from Belize who gives the background mm -hmm. and um, it provides the segue between the American content and the Belizean need. That impact on human capacity has been an important factor in the quality of education offered in Belize's tertiary institutions. The consortium continues to be strong and actively involved in contemporary issues for both partners. A special part of the COBEC partnership has been the prevailing collegiality and professional networking, an important and sustaining outcome. This interrelationship continues between all Belizean tertiary level institutions and the 54 U.S. institution members. Okay, good evening, Mr. Magayan. Can you please share with us how Sacred Heart benefit through the partnership with COBEC? Well, Sacred Heart has benefited a lot from COBEC. We've had the opportunity to have many partnerships and opportunities for professional development. One of the things that we do yearly at COBEC is having our COBEC Cafe, which is a professional development for our teachers and for administrators at the COBEC conferences. And that has helped a lot of our teachers and by the same token helped our students. Sacred Heart has also benefited from speakers from different universities, Coastal Georgia and University of North Georgia, sending faculty members or allowing our faculty members to go on training with them and that has helped in the development of our lecturers. One of the special partnerships that I believe is, needs to be highlighted is the partnership with New Mexico State University. Our partnership started with Dr. James O'Donnell. He um, started getting students to go and do their student teaching at Sacred Heart. And um, for every two or three students that we would send to Belize, um, I student from Belize would come to New Mexico State University to study over here and um, get into the doctorate program. So we've been going to Belize approximately, I would say, for about eight years. Through this partnership, in addition to the many undergraduate and master's degrees, Belizeans have received doctoral degrees from Quebec institutions, with an outstanding Belizean receiving an honorary doctorate to complement these opportunities abroad, several Quebec member institutions have offered advanced degree programs in Belize. The consortium's membership continues to be strong, committed, and growing. The future of Quebec in Belize, I think, is very, very strong. I mean, we have 
more and more institutions in the states that are interested in becoming part of COVEC, uh, exploring the best way to further education, both in Belize and in the United States. What I see in the future is that COVEC will have more members and um, have more opportunities for partnerships and continue to solidify relationships. Hopefully we're still here in 20 years time to see that um, these things materialize and that um, Quebec continues to move in the right direction. We like the idea of seeing continue, you know, the collaboration back and forth, the scholarships that might be available, uh, the student interchange. I'd love to see faculty interchange. I'd love Absolutely. to see, you know, some uh, Belizean early childhood educators come and teach, you know, at Campbellsville and vice versa. We could do some exchanges. I think Quebec really has opened the doors, not only for myself, but even today. Uh, we are talking about 1996. So they were 2019. I am sure that Quebec continues to open the doors for Belizeans across the country to be able to access uh, universities in the United States. And I think it goes a long way not only to their personal development, but likewise towards uh, the development of our nation. I do believe that Quebec in the future will reinforce its original statement of collaboration between U.S. partners and Belize, mostly with the emphasis of developing Belize. So uh, that's what I do see, that we are going in the right track, and using the proper tools of technology and so on. Probably sometime our junior college lecturers probably will be possessing in Belize a doctorate degree, which will more enhance the educational system. I believe Quebec has impacted our country by contributing to national development through education for our productive sector, inclusive of our institutions that serve under the Association, association of Cultural Development Institutions in Belize, um, where we have teachers, um, deans, and it also gives an opportunity for student exchange programs, faculty exchange programs, and we have ongoing collaboration that ensures that quality assurance is in all our institutions. One of the things that I have found most interesting is that no matter what UNG brings or gives, um, we never are able to give as much as we are able to take away from the experiences, from the hospitality, from the relationships of our colleagues in Belize. And that means so much to our students, personally and professionally, and that's gonna have an impact on them in their careers and in their personal lives for the rest of their lives. It truly is transformative and perspective altering for them to make personal connections with students in Belize and gain that world view that we so desperately need them to have. We have a small tertiary education pool, so COVID definitely will help us to ensure that we have continuity in our education system. We are helping universities and having the opportunity to have many other universities connected with us through COVID, we should be able to ensure that our students, once they are looking for further education, Sacred High Junior College as a whole, we have benefited so much from our Quebec partners and we look forward to getting more partnerships with more of them, you know, so that we can empower not only Sacred Heart Junior College, but our students, our teachers who come for primary education as well as early childhood and to impact Belize as a whole. We are able to collaborate, meet, make friends with the different universities. And such, we can exchange both our faculty and our students. And the professors, they come down, they offer training, they offer resources, and they have brought students here as well to participate in some of our own programs. So we have benefited by having access to such expertise and resources. What I see is that they're living up to the reputation of building bridges retaining information but rather decimating information and we have grown we have grown 
personally as friends and professionally as well. I have um, really enjoyed making the kinds of friends, the building the kind of relationships that exist uh, between myself and these institutions and players in the institutions. All in all, Quebec has been uh, the single most prominent force in ensuring that Belize is prepared to handle the current time frame that we are operating in and of course it continues to do so, so I would say that it is the single most force to prepare us for the future as well in our, in our nation of Belize at this time. If it's this big right now, I can just imagine 10 and 20 years now it will be much bigger and the cooperation will be stronger, the partnerships will be tighter and the exposure that both U.S. and Belizeans will have will be great benefit to both. So I think it's a good thing and I think it should keep on growing. Three founders that were very influential, Betty Flintjong, uh, Keith Miser, and um, Tracy Harrington. I think the chief person was Dr. Betty Flintjong. She was an inspiration, a guiding light, and her enthusiasm just um, rubbed off, I think, on everyone else. I think the fact that we have people like Mr. Fletcher who come to me and say, I'm leaving you in your hands, let it survive, I, I think that even though she's retired, the fact that she's retired long, has long since retired from UNF, but that she is so committed to this organization and to Belize's development, that is the spirit of Quebec. You know, I'm thankful to the University of, of North Florida and Quebec, and of course to all those people like Betty Flinchon who have been there from the start and today, amazingly, continue to, to foster that cooperation and, and lead liaison to get things to continue. We can always rely on Quebec partners and they've been here uh, behind us for over a quarter of a century and um, I think that it is fair to say that this relationship continues to be strong. It is one that certainly as the head of the education ship in this country I hope could be around for many many more years, another 25 years or longer so that it can continue to support uh, the very, very important work of building this nation through education. It is a significant achievement that Quebec continues to be a vital part of the U.S. and Belize's educational cooperation. One of the greatest joys of my career was to receive the Order of Distinction from the nation of Belize. It was a highlight of all of our experiences together, and it was a love affair for the entire 30 years. Thank you.